In our last 10 things you can toss right now video, we talked about getting rid of candle jars. You know, the ones that have like half an inch of candle wax left and the broken wick. And we asked you guys to leave us a comment if you wanted to see how to reuse these jars and how to get rid of the wax at the bottom because some of these are actually quite pretty. I mean, this one doesn't look gorgeous right now, but trust me, after it gets cleaned, it's gonna look great and it can serve a lot of different purposes around the house. So this week, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can get rid of the wax and then some creative ways you can repurpose these guys. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and if you like this kind of video, this DIY stuff, give us a thumbs up because it helps us know that you guys really love what we're doing. I'll take this first candle and put it in the freezer. This is a super simple method and it'll take about a couple of hours for the wax to shrink just enough so I can pop it out. Now, some people say to leave it overnight. I'm not gonna do that. I think two hours is more than sufficient for this candle. Now, when you pull it out, if it's not loose enough, get a butter knife in there, wedge it around, and that should help loosen the wax up so you can easily pop it out. For any remaining wax or soot, you can just give it a quick clean in your sink. Use a little bit of dish soap, a sponge, some baking soda, you know, the usuals. For this second candle, I used the oven method. I turned the oven on to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I lined a broiler pan really, really well with tin foil. You wanna do this so that none of that wax gets all over the rest of your broiler pan. Then put your candle upside down, that way any of the melted wax can actually pour out. Now I'll take this pan, I'll just put it in the oven for 10 minutes and all of that wax should drip right out. Now, by the way, this is super hot. So when you pull it out of the oven, use oven gloves or wads of paper towel, but just be careful because you're dealing with hot wax and hot glass. The other cool thing is stickers will just kind of bake off in the oven. So you can easily lift them off with a butter knife once they come out of the oven. I'll let it cool down for a couple of minutes first and then I'll give it a quick wash. And now I'll use the old boiling water method to get the wax out of this candle. So quite simple, boil up some water, line your counter with a few layers of paper towel. This is gonna get hot and waxy. When the water is boiled, pour it in about three quarters of the way full into your candle jar. And what that will do is start to lift the wax away from the glass. Now here I use a butter knife just to move things around, but the wax quickly came out. The next thing you have to do is let this cool for about 30 minutes. The reason you wanna do that, you don't wanna dump the water down the sink because it's gonna have wax in it, which is really gonna screw up your drain system. So let it cool, let it separate, throw out the waxy part, dump the water, clean out the jar, and there you go. Like people, candle jars come in all different shapes and sizes, and there are so many cool things you can actually do with them. And now that you know how to clean them out and make them look brand new, the world's your oyster. So I'd love to know in the comments down below, what do you plan to do with your newfound storage solutions? Let us know because I think we're gonna try and put like a big mega video together with all kinds of cool different uses for these candle jars. And I'd love to see pictures of your repurposed candle jars so you can tag me on Instagram or on Snapchat or Facebook. You guys know how to reach me. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from repurposing candle jars, but remember, I wanna see what you're doing with your repurposed candle jars, you can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the guy who has 300 projects ready for his candle jars. He is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.